Hi, this is Santa Ana Mayor Miguel Polito, and I'm talking to you today about this virus, coronavirus. I've been in touch with the governor throughout the week, big city mayors from throughout California, and we're all doing everything we possibly can to keep everybody safe. The main message is just stay at home if you can, don't go to meetings, don't interact with people, limit contact, especially for senior citizens. Anybody 65 and older, just see if they can't just stay home. Just stay home, period. We at this point have done some things here at the city, such as closing down certain services, the zoo, the libraries, you know, museums. We're discouraging people from going to restaurants. There's already an order from the governor where they want people not to go much to any place where you can interact. Restaurants are certainly one of those. Movie theaters, shopping malls, areas where people congregate. There's a state mandate right now requiring that no more than 50 people at any one meeting. I would tell you it's much better not even to participate in that. Tomorrow the Santa Ana City Council is going to meet and we're going to look at three different things that we're considering. One of them is to shut down all non-essential services and figure out what that looks like. How do we operate in such a manner that it's easier for our residents to function in this shutdown condition? Uh, to that extent, we want to give our city manager authority to where any contract that needs to be extended can be done so without city council action. So she's going to have more power, more authority to continue running the city without us having to meet. We don't want meetings. We don't want especially big meetings because again, the same virus is there. This virus is very aggressive. It does not discriminate. It attacks all. And the main defense that we have right now is not to have contact. The more contact we have, the further it'll spread. Remember, Santa Ana is the fourth densest city in the country. New York, San Francisco, Chicago, then Santa Ana. So we might not be a major city from a population standpoint on a national basis, but we are a very large city and we're an expensively, especially dense city. A lot of people living close to each other. So I'm asking all residents, all businesses, do everything you can possibly imagine to limit that contact. Certain cases it might be, you know, work from home if you can. Uh, I know we've asked them when we're, and we have been working with the schools to limit their operations altogether and most schools are going to be out now through spring break and then probably a few weeks after that. We just don't know. But what we do know is that countries and cities that did not take this seriously right now are in real trouble. And the real trouble comes at the hospitals where they don't have enough empty beds to treat people. So we want to slow down contact, to slow down the spread to, uh, of the disease, to flatten the curve, as they say. Instead of having a spike, we want a flatter curve that doesn't spike and doesn't make everybody rush at the same time to the hospital because hospital won't be able to handle it. So as we flatten that curve, we save lives. And that's what we're doing here in Santa Ana. We're working and in the near future, I'm going to have announcements about testing areas. People want to know how to test, where to test, how do you do it. We're trying to set up drive-by testing facilities where you could drive in your car. You have a doctor's order. It might be public, it might be private, probably both. And you could get a test and have results within a few hours. What we need is more information because we don't know who has it and who doesn't. Some people could have the virus and yet they don't really show that many symptoms, but they could be spreading it to everybody they come in contact with. So don't assume anything. Just protect yourself, protect your loved ones, use wipes, wash your hands, and as they say, you know, uh, you know, sing happy birthday twice or whatever it is with warm water. Make sure you're getting the germs off because these are, this is not a cold. This is a deadly virus that'll kill people. And so we're taking drastic steps right now, doing things we have never done before. Um, I'm in contact with Main Place Mall, for example. They're considering shutting down the mall. 
very tough thing to do, but probably not a bad idea because it becomes a place where people can, you know, uh, you know, spread the virus and, uh, and, and, and more people are impacted. So there will be more tomorrow because we're going to have a city council meeting where we're going to talk about many of these things, but it might be the last city council meeting for a while. We're talking about having virtual meetings because we don't want residents coming down and being impacted or ourselves or our staff being impacted. So here we have to be safe. We have to care about everybody. We have to be a team. We have to do this together. We're not an island. We're, that's why we're working with other cities. I'm talking right now to Garden Grove, to Anaheim, to Central County in particular. What can we do to coordinate? And then cities up and down the state. You know, Mayor Garcetti's in LA, he's looking at grocery stores. And you can go to grocery stores here, we're seeing the same thing. A lot of people are buying food, and fine, buy food, but, but not in a panic situation. This is not a panic, but we have to take it very, very, very seriously. And to the extent that, um, that we can speed things like tests, count on us that we're going to do that. Again, we're on this 24-7, not only talking with other mayors, talking to the state government, doing everything we can to make sure that Santa Ana and all of our residents and businesses are safe. So there is a press release that's a part of this uh, announcement that I'm making right now. Please read that and expect more news in the near future. Thank you very much and we're going to make it through this.